afternoon and welcome to CT Style. I'm Teresa Dufour. And I'm Ryan Christopher. Hopefully you had a nice weekend. We are super excited because we have our buddy, our pal, Nick Fradiani on the show yes, today. it's an exclusive, right? Ooh, ooh, yeah. Uh, he's going to give us a whole recap of American Idol and also he's going to perform an acoustic version of his brand new song, Empire. But before we get to Nick, we have some new friends here in the studio, oh, right? we sure do. Hey, guys, make some noise. Hey. This oh. is Amity Orange wait, 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 wait. Middle School. Wait, hey, who? what is going now, on who, there? Who is this guy? It was... <laughs> What's your name? Me? Yeah, you. <laughs> Michael. Michael. Okay, hi, Michael. Michael, you got some Stealing moves. Stealing the show. Can, can you do that move again, Mike? Mike, do, do that move that you were doing the, with the, hey, hey. Wow. Well, Check that out. Well, this is the broadcasting class there. Uh -huh. Sit down, Ryan. Oh, You're making okay. a whole couch move. Not quite the same. Sorry about that. So they're going to be taking our job someday. That's basically Clearly yours. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, absolutely. You'll be seeing but, Mike uh, on CT style. They put a newscast on every day. They have a green screen. There's a teleprompter. Which it's is impressive. impressive. Yeah, yeah, we should take graders. some notes from them. So they're going to be hanging out with us. Uh, also, we have a, a, a big shout out. We were yes. at Rensselaer Field all weekend, it seems like. We were there a for the... A lot of activity. Har yeah, the uh, Hartford Athletic home opener at the Rent. Hartford is green and blue! Let's go! Da, 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 da. Sing along. Oh boy, you're right, you're right up in there. It was like a mosh pit in there. We were at the tailgate, and it was crazy. They sold uh, over 11,000 tickets. It was... It's an enormous uh, stadium. Oh, wow. yeah. It was electric in there. Uh, the athletic tide, but I think it was a victory for all the fans. It was just great to see all the hometown there pride. There was a tie. Yes. Oh, okay, that's good. That is a thing better in soccer. Right, it's better than a loss. And you can catch more Hartford Athletic. Uh, they're going to be home against Memphis on Friday. You can check it out on My TV 9 So, it's fun And then times. you stayed at Rensselaer Field. Yeah, I, I have a cot up in the <laughs> press box. So, uh, hung out there for the next day. We were there for the Take Steps Walk. So it was a wonderful event. Sarah Cody was the MC, and uh, there were hundreds of people. We were able to raise over a hundred thousand dollars. That's great for people living with IBS here in Connecticut. A wonderful organization. So shout out to all the walkers that braved the cold weather and the rain to make it out. Now, did you do anything at Rensselaer Field this weekend? I feel bad. You know, we're just I was <laughs> not in East Hartford this okay, weekend. Okay, all right, I missed, all right. Uh, missed the memo there. That was but... mom life, right? You were busy. That's what we do: swimming, soccer, oh. music. Sounds like fun. Sure you want to trade? Is. Oh, yeah, there are some days. Know, yeah, all, right. <laughs> all right, today's dish is all presented by Stone Academy. And guess what? It is a boy. It's a royal boy. This is Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's first child born early this morning. He weighs seven pounds, three ounces, and uh, this is one week past her due date. But this is what Prince Harry had to say. Um, it's been the most amazing experience I could ever have, um, possibly imagine. Well, everyone's doing great, mom and baby, and there are some Vegas odds as to what the baby's name is going ah, to be. Do you know what they would be? Yes, I sure do. It's probably going to be some sort of traditional name like Albert, Arthur, or Alexander. Oh, okay. Place your bets. All right, I'm, I'm going on Alexander. I'll, I'll like put Albert. 10 down. On Albert. Mm -hmm. Albert. We'll uh, see what they decide. When okay. do we find out? Is this like a tradition? When I, do they announce it? I thought this was your forte. I thought you were into the royal <laughs> <laughs> baby watch. I kind of am into it, but... Um, We'll have to wait and see. All right. Well, I, I think it's great that he was able to give a few words because I feel like typically when the babies are born, it's 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 kept so tight and people well, don't really talk too much. Well, usually they go the steps of the hospital and show the baby yeah. a couple hours, um, but she did not want to do that. Yeah. Well, the the fact that he was talking, I, I think, was great. Well, that we were able to get some nothing. sound bites from him at least. So congratulations <laughs> to them. Something else that I know that you're going to be on the lookout for is the Met Gala tonight. Yeah. Those are oh, it's going to be fantastic. All the fashion there. It's a fundraising event. It takes place at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. It is happening tonight. You have the same outfit, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. I, I, figured I like her. A couple of those. J Lo. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the theme this year is camp notes on fashion. We're not talking about outdoor camping or glamping. Attendees are encouraged to explore how elements like irony, humor, and exaggeration are expressed through fashion. Ah. I feel like it's going to be over the top. What do you do, think? Do you think we ever have that on our show on CT Style? Well, when over you the wear top capri clothing? pants. Oh, come on. Don't hate on the capri pants. The capri pants are in now, right? Irony for guys. Expression. Man right freeze. There. There's one guy over there shaking his head saying, yeah. Wow. I actually had a conversation several times this weekend about your capri pants. Wow. And it's different when you're so tall, I think. Right. They're like high waters. Yeah. I, I feel like you need to have more of a social life than talking to other people about my man pre. You keep bringing it up. But just put it out there. All right. After less than two weeks in theaters, there's only one movie ahead of Avengers Endgame in the global box office list. It is still $600 million behind Avatar. We're going to get there, though. 
Probably. We're going to pass our avatar. Loyal fans, you still got to go to see it for the first time. Oh, yeah. I got to see it for the second time. So I say we go together, get some popcorn, get in the theater. Did all you guys right. all see it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Three of us saw it. They're into it. Yeah, but it was one of the few movies that hit the $2 billion mark. And in record time. I mean, I, I think it's definitely going to make it. And I think you just need to jump on the bandwagon, I think I had Teresa. I've watched a couple movies prior to that, so I know uh, it's happening. Okay. Well, you got plenty of free time. Absolutely. All right.